Hi, I'm Steve Jones for Redgate Software, and I've got another SQL Prompt tip for you. This is in SQL Prompt 6.4, and we've added begin and highlighting. Now, one of the nice things I like in some of the IDs like PowerShell is that if I place my cursor here at the end of this if statement, you'll notice that it highlights the the beginning bracket that corresponds. Simil sim uh, similarly, if I highlight this one, you'll see that this item is highlighted as well. It can be nice to do that when code becomes complex, and we've added that to SQL Prompt for SQL Server code as well. So you'll notice in here I've got a number of nested begin ends here with if statements. If I were to actually put my cursor on this begin, it highlights the end. Same thing here. If I were to choose the end statements, it would highlight the begin statement. It's going to allow you in a long store procedure to easily determine where the start and ends of your loops are and prevent you from writing code that might be making mistakes in terms of the logic for begin and end statements. Hopefully this is a tip that will help you out. Again, this is in SQL Prompt 6.4 and later, so I'd urge you to upgrade and check it out. I'm Steve Jones for Redgate Software.